So let us take a problem based on permutation and combinations. This problem had appeared in JE mains exam 2014. The problem is an 8 digit number divisible by 9 is to be formed using the digits from 0 to 9 without repeating the digits. In how many ways can this be done? So we have been given the digits 0 to 9, a total of 10 digits whose sum is 45 and we have to form an 8 digit number which is divisible by 9. The test of divisibility by 9 is that the sum of the digits of the number must be divisible by 9. So from this 10 digits first we have to choose 8 digits that is we have to exclude 2 digits every time but these 8 digits must be such that their sum is divisible by 9. Already the sum of these 10 digits is 45 which is divisible by 9. So if we subtract 9 from this, we will get 36. So we have to find pairs of numbers such that their sum is 9. So that if we exclude these pairs one at a time, the rest of the digits still together will add up to a number which is divisible by 9. So these digits can be used to basically form a number of our desired condition. For 9, we can pair up 0 and 9, 1 and 8. 2 and 7, 3 and 6, 4 and 5. So if I exclude these two numbers falling in one pair, the rest of the digit that I am left with will still add up to 36 and they will form a number which is divisible by 9. So for case 1 of 0, 9, the rest of the 8 digits, they can be rearranged in 8 factorial forms. So this is one possibility. For 1, 8, I am left with another set of 8 digits so which can be rearranged in 8 factorial ways but there would be some numbers which will have 0 as their first digit so we have to exclude those because then it will not be an 8 digit number it will be a 7 digit number essentially so we will subtract those cases that will be 7 factorial similarly for 2 comma 7 it will be 8 factorial minus 7 factorial 3 comma 6 Again we have 8 factorial minus 7 factorial and 4 comma 5 also I have 8 factorial minus 7 factorial. So I have to just sum up these. So I have 8 factorial time plus 4 times 8 factorial minus 7 factorials. So I have 5 times 8 factorial minus 4 times 7 factorial. This is nothing but 5 into 8 40 times 7 factorial minus 4 times 7 factorial which is equal to 36 times 7 factorial. So this is my answer to the question. There are 36 into 7 factorial. This is in the simplest form which we can express the answer to this question 36 into 7 factorial.